This discovery is exciting, but also a little scary. If the magma artery really runs south, it could connect to volcanoes in British Columbia, Washington, and Oregon. Volcanoes like Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Hood. These volcanoes are not just mountains, they are giant pressure cookers, sitting near millions of people. Why is this such a big deal? Because if volcanoes are connected, they may not act alone. A surge of magma in one area could put pressure on another volcano miles away. Instead of one eruption, we could see a chain reaction, multiple eruptions linked by the same hidden artery. This is where the story pulls us in. A discovery in quiet Alaska may be the key to understanding the future of the entire Pacific Northwest. Now you may be asking, why haven't we heard about this before? Shouldn't the news be shouting about it? The truth is, discoveries like this don't come in one big headline. They come in pieces. A strange signal here, a satellite image there, a new computer model. It takes years to put the puzzle together. But every piece adds weight to the same idea. Something unusual is happening deep under the ground. Something big enough to link entire regions together. To understand how unusual this is, Think about Yellowstone. The Yellowstone supervolcano has a massive magma chamber under it, but that chamber mostly stays put. It feeds geysers, hot springs, and small earthquakes, but it's in one place. What scientists are now finding in Alaska is different. This isn't just a chamber, it's a pathway. And if that pathway runs south, it could be one of the largest magma systems ever mapped in North America. Here's the twist. Most people walking in Alaska today will never see or feel it. The mountains look calm, the rivers keep flowing, 